everyone um, if you have a HSBC regular saving account then I have some good news for you and it's nice actually to uh, to deliver some good news considering everything that has been happening with inflation and, and all this stuff for the last few months so um, this is actually something that is in the newspaper today um, I just need to bring this up because before I came on I had this all primed ready for me to share my screen and I've literally just lost it so let me just uh, bring this back up and I'll be able to walk you through the article um, which uh, has got this news contained. This is literally um, off the press today, this afternoon as of 12.28. So it says here, HSBC says it will raise its interest rate on savings accounts from 1% to 5%. So this will be a byproduct of the fact that we've seen the Bank of England base rate increase over the last nine months or so. And as most people have pointed out, We've seen mortgage rates increase, but we have seen a lag in savings accounts keeping up with the rate of increase for, uh, with the Bank of England. So this is going to be a welcome boost for savers. Now, how does this work? There is a catch here, guys, unfortunately. Um, and there is a question that I'll probably ask that I don't know the answer to, but maybe worthwhile, you know, asking the question of HSBC. So this is the uh, this is the main paragraph. OK, so. HSBC have announced on Monday that from December the 1st, it will increase the rate from 1% to 5% of their HSBC regular saver, that is. And the, ra the rise will automatically apply to existing accounts um, and interest secured up to date um, will be that offered when the account was opened. So essentially, with their regular saver, essentially, the regular savers, what typically happens is you pay in a certain amount every single month. This account is capped at £3,000. So it means that the max you'll be able to pay in every single month is going to be, what, around about £250. If you already have one of those accounts, what they're essentially saying here is that the rate that was fixed at was 1%. As of December 1st, that 1% is going to increase to 5%, which is going to be great. And it's automatically going to be applied to the account. You don't have to do anything if you are already with HSBC. That doesn't answer the question of, well, will they make this available to new customers? That we don't know. Now, again, I don't work for HSBC, so, but I'm just thinking about it from a commercial point of view here, right? Would you do this for existing customers and not have something um, available to attract new uh, customers into the fold if you're going to take this decision to offer a better rate of interest? I mean, 5% is pretty decent. I think it's actually the highest on the market right now, if I'm not mistaken, for a regular saver. There are some around about 3.75 that I've definitely seen, um, but I haven't seen one at 5%. But then again, I could be wrong. So hopefully this is something that they will actually pass on to um, new customers as well, because I'm sure they want to acquire new customers. Um, but as it says here from December the 1st, the rate on that regular saver um, is going to increase from 1% to 5%. Now, interestingly, they've kind of broken their own terms and conditions with this because... Sorry, one second, wrong way bound. The account had a fixed rate of 1%, and they're breaking their own terms and conditions to increase it to 5% now. So that's going to be a known rate of return for you. Now, how this works is you'll get the interest paid out to you at the end of the 12 month period. So if you open it, you know, you had the account open today, for example, you'll get the 5% interest 12 months from now on the account anniversary. So I think this is a really good new, uh, good move by HSBC. It will be interesting to see if other banks kind of follow suit on this as well, and whether there will be other moves by other bank, uh, banks to increase the interest rate that they're providing to existing customers. I mean, what they've said here, according to this article, let me just read this paragraph to you here is, Tom Wolfenden, which is H HSBC's head head of retail, said, um, the, fi the rate is fixed for one year from the time of opening. However, at this time to help with, let me just highlight this, to help with the increased cost of living and to support those who are cur who currently have a regular saver open, we're increasing all current regular savers accounts to the new rate of 5% with effect from the 1st of December. Customers do not need to do anything. It will be automatically updated. Now, interestingly, it says all current regular saver accounts. Um, so current accounts only if they're open already. We don't know whether they're going to open it up to to new customers.
unfortunately. What I would maybe suggest to do is maybe have a look at, you know, speaking to HSBC, because I'm sure let's actually have a look and see if they actually have any offers um, for their current accounts at this point in time. Uh, let's have a look at let's have a look at bank accounts. See what they have. See if they have anything at all that might suggest that they're going to make this available for new customers as well. No, there isn't anything on here at the minute that I can that I can see. Uh, let's go to banking. Um, Reward cards, we don't want any of that. We don't want mortgages either. Banking, premier account, online. Let's have a look at regular savers, savings accounts. Yeah, as you can see, £3,000 up to 1%. This is the one that they're actually changing. There's nothing on there at the moment to suggest that they're going to have something new. But I would definitely keep an eye open to see if they launch something uh, around about the same time as this happening on the 1st of December, because I would imagine they would want to use this to acquire new customers in, in some way, shape or form, um, and not just helping existing customers alone, because a lot of these banks will make money by putting an offer out there. And whilst it might be loss leading, what they're hoping is that you'll take credit cards, personal loans, maybe even a mortgage with them, or you might place some money with them for investment. And that's how they they get cross pollination across different project uh, products for you. And that's how they start to build customer loyalty first and foremost. And from there, bank fees then start to, to kind of rack up. That's how they typically do it. So I'll keep an eye out and see if on on December the 1st or any time between now and then, whether they launch an account for new customers with a similar uh, rate of return. Um, that you might be able to utilize. But this is really, really good news for customers who already have the HSBC uh, regular saver account as that little bit of extra help um, in this cost of living crisis and high inflation, infl inflationary period. Um, it's very, very rare that you see banks do this. So I'm actually really, really surprised that they have, um, which is why I thought I'd make the video on this. If you do know someone who has this account, by the way, by all means, if they feel free to share it with them, because I'm sure that it will be a really, really nice surprise uh, for people who have them. I wish that I'd open one myself and actually put a little bit of money, but then you're restricted to £3,000 as the maximum amount you can pay into it. And this is how they protect themselves. And it will be a calculated decision that they're making. They're going to say, well, if we have 1% on £3,000, we have you know 100,000 customers who actually take this account. They know it, how much it's going to cost. They'll be doing exactly the same calculation for this with it going up to to five percent that will be costed into into their numbers essentially um and so yeah it will be interesting to see whether they do have something for new customers because i'm sure whilst they're helping existing customers they will want to bring new people into the fold and i'm sure they would have crunched the numbers on that but i'll be surprised if they don't have something else come in um but we'll just have to wait and see but anyway this was just a really really quick one on a on this Monday evening, I saw this, thought it would be interesting, um, something worthwhile sharing. It's a nice change for a bank, not something that we often see. But um, yeah, by all means, do feel free, if you did get value from this, to smash the like button. Thank you for being here. I will see you maybe tomorrow.